Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a basic hello world program in the assembly language. I'm going to write the code for both x86 and x64 platforms. I will also set up Kali Linux from scratch to do assembly programming. So let's dive in. All right, so here I am inside my Kali VM. The VM is relatively new. So let's check the version. So it's from Feb 2021. The other thing that I have are the commands that I'm going to use in this video. So we'll talk about those commands as we, as we go through this video. First, I'm going to install Visual Studio Code. So next I'm going to install Visual Studio Code. Let me go to the downloads folder. Next, I'm going to install some prerequisites which are required for compiling assembly on Linux. I'm also going to install the GNU debugger. And I will install the man pages as well. Let me make a directory on the desktop. MKDIR minus B assembly. Hello, the word. This will be assembly slash hello word. And here we're going to run our code editor. All right. Let me close all this and let me make this a bit bigger. First file that we are going to create is world x86.nasm and I'm going to increase the font size here a bit so you can see clearly and close this. All right, so let's start with Comment file name hello world x86 dot nasm and then author we are going to set up the basic structure of an assembly language file um firstly we have to indicate from where the code will start so that is going to be a label start and we're going to define the text section and the data section. The data section will have our data, which is going to be the message, which is going to be hello world. And then we're going to add the new line character here. So this is a notation to um, extract the message length which nasm understands so let's do that as well dollar minus message this will deduct dollar is the current line minus message is the last line which will give you the um the size of this message the hello world message and this new line character okay let's start let's create the label that we have the start label all right now in order to write something on the screen we have to call certain system commands and system commands 
are basically something which are at the core of Linux. In order to understand what system commands we are required to call for the right instruction, we need to find those from the header files. So let's first update the DB so that we are able to look at the header files. So locate Let's open this file and we look at the instruction for write. So the syscall for write is number four. And along with the system call number, in order to call uh, make the system call, we have to also set up the um, the registers with the correct parameters for the system call so the right system call that requires a file descriptor file descriptor is where linux will write out the data which is given to it and then we have the buffer which is going to be written there and then we have the count or the length of the data we need to write there so the first uh, thing syscall will be set up in eax register then we have ebx here ecx and edx here so let's do that so move eax 0x4 which is the uh, syscall for right then we have move ebx 0x1 okay so this is the file descriptor for std out then we have move ECX, the message, which is the message we need to print on the screen and move EDX will be the message length. And then we call, we make the system call, which is 0x80. Next thing that we need to do is that we need to set up the code for exit so exit system call is number one and if you look at the exit system call what are the parameters for this it only accepts one parameter which is exit so let's do that as well so let's comment this so write hello world to screen and then the next one is exit move e and x 0x1 and then move ebx the status which we can set as 2 and then last but not least is the calling of the system call so we are done with this code let's let's save this and then let's compile this code as well so i'm going to use the built-in terminal which comes in uh, visual studio code so let's compile it here so we are using nasm setting up the output format which is l32 and we're done here then we use that to link the file and we're done here as well and then we can run this code from the terminal and we can see hello world is printed on the screen and here we have the exit status we can also look at the exit status by this command which is the echo dollar question mark and then we have the exit status here as well all right so next up uh, next up we are going to copy out this code and we're going to transform this for x64 right so let's create a new file here hello world x64 dot nasm and copy it here all right so x64 am instructions are a bit different in the sense that we have to set up the correct registers the registers that we have to set up for 64 bit and 32 bit are are different so in 32 bit we use the eax ebx ecx and edx registers in in x64 we have to use the rax and the um, rdi rsi and R, rdx registers so let's first start with finding out the system call 
so the system call for 64 bit for write instruction is one so let's first transform this for write so firstly we have to set rax which is going to have the call for write and then we have rdi and then we have rsi and then we have rdx and in order to make a syscall in in x64 we have to write here syscall so the exit code for uh, exit system call in x64 is numbered at 60. So we will set up that. Let's quickly find out what it is in hex. So Python hex 60 is 3C. So let's do that. So move RAX 0 at 3C. And then we have RBI which is zero two we would keep the same and then sys call yeah we're going to use the terminal again to compile this code so here we are defining that we need an l64 and then last but not least we are using the ld to link the file as well Okay, now we can run the same for 64 bit and we get hello world. So um, obviously I have, I'm just starting out with assembly and I'm trying to prepare myself for the OSED, which is Offensive Security Exploit Developer Certification. I will make many mistakes and I'm sure I made many mistakes in this video as well. Please let me know um what you think about the video in the comments and i will see you in the next video thank you very much